Hello and welcome back to Espresso Coffee Shop. My name is Sebastiano and today we're very, very excited to present uh, a new coffee grinder and not just any coffee grinder because this is the AK Omnia. It was highly anticipated as I was mentioning before and uh, yeah, we finally have a unit here and we're going to review it. Uh, so I got my cutter, got my pliers, uh, let's go. Here with the new AK Omnia and we are very very excited as I was mentioning before to have it because it was a very very anticipated coffee grinder ever since the presentation in host 2023 we were waiting for well for this moment um, as you can see it's uh, quite similar to the AK 43 it's clearly inspired even though some design cues are completely different uh, we'll come back to this a bit later, but for now, I will tell you guys that uh, the, probably the most noticeable difference uh, is uh, the new screen. And as you can see, it has the knob which where you can choose the different settings. Now, you have the three different modes, uh, which I'm going to show you right now. There's the classic mode, and the classic mode is basically what the normal AK-43 uh, usually does. So you basically have the power button here, just like you have in the AK-43, and you can just adjust manually the setting. Now, this setting actually shows the distance between the birds in microns. And so maybe you want to grind some espresso coffee. You're going to go probably at something like this. And there you have it. Or you can bring it all the way up to maybe 500. And this is probably more for a filter coffee. So as you guessed, uh, this coffee grinder is a true all-purpose coffee grinder. And I really think that this is the real uh, party piece of this coffee grinder. It's uh, usability in all of the different spectrums of, of the coffee world. Then you have the time mode. Now this is the mode that really interests you if you want to make an espresso shot. And it's the real new mode that you didn't have before in the AK-43. Now you can have the grinding time uh, which is of course uh, configurable. You can keep it pressed here and you can change the time for instance. You can change the distance between the burrs, so the grind size, and you can also choose uh, which configuration this is going to be. It might be the configuration for a double shot, it might be for a single shot for instance, or for bottomless. You decide. And if you see another characteristic is that when you shift, for instance, to another mode, you've seen this, the coffee grinder actually automatically adjusted to the grind setting that you have for this particular mode. Let's see, here we have two seconds at 700 micron. And you see it automatically goes to 700. So in the time mode, you can actually select the distance between the bears uh, and the time. And I really think that this is the real party feature of this coffee grinder. Because now, for the first time, you can really use these coffee grinders, for example, to pull espresso shots. And uh, this is something that you didn't see before. I mean, you could see in some uh, cafes or some customers, or some home baristas, using the AK-43 at home, pulling, or at the cafe actually, pulling some shots. But they were really adapted AK-43s. The AK-43 was never really uh, intended for that type of use. And finally, the AK Omnia actually allows you for that type of use, even because uh, there's another feature that you will see right now, which is super interesting for this, uh, for doing this type of uh, use. And for instance, there's this uh, plate behind, which is actually a magnet. You can pull it out 
as you can see. And once it's out, you can actually fit a porta filter holder or a fork, which also works with a magnet and you can position basically, imagine if there was a, fo a fork here, you can position up and down depending on which type of, of porta filter you have. Right now, unfortunately, we don't have the fork here available, but just know that it will be an option and yes, it will be available for the AK Omnia, which is another very interesting feature. The last mode is the library mode. Basically, this is a mode that allows you to store different recipes. For instance, Malkernig has all these different recipes already stored. Uh, you can go, for example, to El Puente recipe, and it's going to adjust automatically to the settings that you've saved for the specific recipe. Now, you have the possibility to store 10 different recipes, uh, including the ones that are already saved, which, of course, you can cancel uh, if you don't want them. And, yeah, basically, this is uh, the... All the modes that you need to know then what do we have here we have the general settings uh, that you can actually configure uh, you have like the user manual you have uh, customizable settings here and you have some system setting where you can have some connect to the Wi-Fi for instance so yeah this is basically it these are the three different modes uh, that the AK Omnia offers. As you can see, it's uh, a big departure from uh, the normal AK-43. Uh, it kind of brings the AK model in uh, the 21st century. So yeah, we're very, very happy to present you these features. And the big news don't only concentrate outside, but even inside there has been a lot of work. For instance, the new motor is a DC brushless motor, which uh, is a departure from the brushed motor that you had before. This means an uh, incredibly smooth coffee grinder that you can barely hear the noise of. For instance, if I pull it now, you can barely hear it. It's uh, incredibly silent a big, big departure from what the AK-43 used to be. You also have another feature inside, which is the addition of a bearing at the end of the axle. Now, this represents a huge advantage in terms of calibration of the coffee grinder. Now, thanks to this new axle, it's much easier to adjust and align the coffee grinder compared to before. So yeah, this is also an incredible feature. Um, talking about the burrs, they are still uh, the same 98 millimeter flat vertical burrs that we are used to. So not a huge departure from, from that. But yeah, it's very interesting to see how Malconic has worked, not only in creating something new uh, in terms of technology uh, on the outside using the screen, uh, but even in, in the inside, changing the mechanics of the engine. Now, some other changes that, you will gonna, that you're going to see here in the outside is, for example, the knocker, which has a totally new design. And there is now this, uh, this spout, which uh, you can remove and you can clean out, which you didn't have before. So definitely a very nice feature to have. And then you're going to be able to put it back in like this. Easy and simple. Now, I wanna show you what's at the back of the coffee grinder because there's two interesting features as well that you won't be able to notice that easily. Okay, we're at the back of the coffee grinder and uh, as you can see, there's uh, these openings. Now, these openings are actually some cooling openings. Let's call them like this. And they are here because the CPU unit so the all, all the technology and twitchery is uh, right at the top here. And these, what these openings do basically is uh, provide some air for the CPU unit. This means that the coffee grinder won't need actually to have a fan installed because these openings are cooling the necessary cooling 
in order to avoid the coffee grinder to actually overheat. So this is not only a design cue, it's actually something practical for the coffee grinder. Now you will also notice this big, big logo um, of Malconic. This is actually probably the only part in plastic, apart from, of course, the hopper. And it's in plastic because inside here, there's the Wi-Fi module. Now, the Wi-Fi module, of course, it's uh, very useful because you can have the software updates inside here and you can also record all the data, for instance. And this is handy, especially when you want to check out maybe uh, how much uh, coffee the uh, coffee grinder actually, has actually ground. So it's very interesting and part of this uh, new technological life that Malconic has given to an icon like the AK. And yeah, let's spin it back in front uh, to tell you some other uh, features of this coffee grinder. Now, one last thing that I wanted to talk about is uh, the RPM. Because theoretically, uh, this coffee grinder doesn't allow you to change the RPM. However, it does have an automatic uh, RPM variation, depending on the resistance that the coffee grinder feels inside the grinding chamber. So basically, it does the job for you, uh, detecting uh, and depending on which type of coffee beans you put inside, which is the ideal RPM. And in order to also keep uh, around the same type of uh, grind quality uh, throughout different types of coffees that you're grinding. So it's another very interesting feature uh, that this coffee grinder has and another technological advancement from Malconig. Now, what if you need to access inside of the coffee grinder, for instance, uh, to clean the burrs? Well, good news is it's quite easy. Now, you just have to remove uh, this uh, metal cover and you will have access to four different screws. Now, you won't be able to see in the video the, the screws, but they're here inside hidden. Now, you will unscrew them and then you just have to pull and open. And here they are. These are the 98 millimeter cast burrs, flat, vertical, of course, like the original AK-43. And as you can see, it's quite easy to, to access. We take advantage that the coffee grinder is open to show you a feature that I was mentioning before, which are the bearings. Now, this part here is the actual bearing. Now, this is a new feature that it was not present before. So why did they put a bearing there? Well, because it keeps the axis, which is this thing, steady and it stabilizes it. So this creates a very good advantage in terms of alignment. So you're going to have an axis which is more aligned than before thanks to this bearing. A small detail that shows that Malconi for sure thought about everything while designing this coffee grinder. So there you have it. These are the main features of the AK Omnia. It's uh, definitely a very, very exciting new product, which actually no one saw coming. Uh, as I said before, when we went to host 2023, we knew that there was a new product coming, but we didn't know that Malconi would present such a product. And during the presentation that they made, uh, everyone was amazed in seeing what they were actually able to achieve. Um, I think it's a great milestone for uh, Malconi, and I think that this is the new king of coffee grinders, as they want to usually define it. Um, so it's already available. It's going to be available in, uh, as well in the uh, next months if uh, you are interested in uh, ordering one. And yeah, we're very, very happy uh, being able to review it here uh, finally. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and please share it, uh, like it, and please subscribe it if you want to see more of our content. And yeah, have a nice day.